Greetings. Good evening, everybody. I'm glad you're here. Um, we will be using uh, Holden Evening Prayer written by Marty Hogan, uh, somebody that we like a lot. Um, Marty wrote this uh, back in 85, 86 to a community called the Winter Community of Holden. Now, what this was, was a very remote mining community, and they had no access to church or any of those kinds of things. It was very, very remote, or is very remote. Um, so Marty happened onto this place, and he wrote this for them so they could have something that they could have together um, by, by way of, of evening prayer. So it, it is why it is now we're, we're going to have meditation too at the times um, over Advent, but it is why it is written without meditation, um, but rather as a time in the evening that they could kind of wrap up their day in a peaceful way together. So you kind of understand that about what this service is about. Um, most certainly we like it an awful lot because um, it has the Magnificat in it, and that certainly reminds us of Mary in this, in this wonderful season of Advent. Um, so with all that said, um, the, the spoken portions will be as it is now. Um, I did uh, pre-record um, the sung portions. Uh, and that you will see me in um, the church worship space, um, leading worship that way. So follow along um, with, with the books. The other thing that I should say is these pieces, yeah, it's not going to show. Um, but what you received in the mail, you need to have those for all four um, times and then then technically you're supposed to destroy them <laughs> but um please please keep them for all four um because we don't want to make that mailing again <laughs> all right. um so so with that said mark take it away jesus christ you are the light of the world Stay with us now, for it is evening. Let your light scatter the darkness. God. 
May our prayers come before you, O oh God, as incense, and may your presence surround and fill us, so that in union with all creation, we might sing your prayers and your love in our lives. Amen. A reading from Isaiah. We have all become like one who is unclean, and all our righteous deeds are like a filthy cloth. We all fade like a leaf, and our iniquities, like the wind, take us away. There is no one who calls on your name or attempts to take hold of you, for you have hidden your face from us and have delivered us into the hand of our iniquity. Yet, O oh Lord, you are our Father. We are the clay, and you are our potter. We are all the work of your hand. Do not be exceedingly angry, O Lord, and do not remember iniquity forever. Now consider, we are all your people. The word of the Lord. My guess is I am not the only one who has received those garden catalogs. 
now um, the, the ones with the seeds that show these brilliant gardens that, that if you just buy their seeds, you're going to have. Well, I don't know about you, but every time I've tried that, I may get some things growing, but I never get what the pictures are in those catalogs. Right? <laughs> but, but that doesn't mean I don't try. I suppose that if I really want to get something like that, I need to go to Longwood Gardens and just pretend. <laughs> Thing is though, there's something about getting yourselves messy and getting things down in, in the dirt. And even if it doesn't turn out to be this, this thing in a catalog, something might be growing. Something might be happening, right? There's this, this thing right, of, of in between, of, of when you kind of put it in the ground and then you water it and then you wait to see if you killed it or you didn't. Like, like who knows, who knew that there was a way to put in a tulip bulb, right? Where are my gardeners out there? You know, there's the one way to put them in and they don't grow the other way. <laughs> <clears throat> Advent, we find ourselves in is a different kind of season, isn't it? In many ways, thankfully, the retail organization hasn't figured out what to do with it. They just skip it and do Christmas, right? They don't, we don't have Hallmark Advent movies, right? We don't have any of those things, right? We have this, this thing that we call Advent, that is there something growing? Is there hope? Is there, and, and we kind of hang on to this thing in the church we call Advent, while the rest of the world kind of says, yeah, I'm doing pre-Christmas, thank you very much, right? And, and so we grab a hold of, we, or not, we, we have this thing we call Advent. In our, in our text here, we have the Israelites in between exiles, if you will, or in between being saved from exile, where they are right now. What's going on in this Isaiah passage is they've now been conquered now by Babylon. They certainly remembered Israel, um, or I'm sorry, Egypt. Okay? And, and now they've been conquered by Babylon. And they're waiting to be saved by God. They're kind of in between all of this stuff.
An angel went from God to a town called Nazareth to a woman whose name was Mary. The angel said to her, Rejoice, O highly favored, for God is with you. You shall bear a child, and his name shall be Jesus, the chosen one of God most high. And Mary said, I am the servant of my God, I live to Let us pray. Great merciful God, source and ground all of goodness and life, 
Give to your people the peace that passes all understanding and the will to live your gospel of mercy and justice through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. God, remember us in your love and teach us to pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. Christ. 